This is Cambridge O levels. Subject Mathematics, Paper One, Variant Twelve. Session is October November seventeen. Calculator is not allowed. Question number one. Evaluate. LCM is seven five times thirty five. Six five times thirty. Seven three times twenty one. Nine by thirty-five. <coughs> Value at ninety by zero point four five. So we multiply with hundred on both sides. Nine thousand by forty-five. Forty-five one times. Forty-five two times. And two hundred. Question number two. The masses in Kilogram of twenty parcels sent by a dispatch center are given in the table. By using a tally, marks or otherwise complete the group frequency distribution for these masses. Okay, from three to five. So we're counting this one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then from five to seven. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From seven to nine. The remaining numbers one, two, three, four, five. The results are to be shown in pie chart. Calculate the angle of sector representing the group with the smallest frequency. So it is five out of twenty. So five out of twenty of three sixty five one times five four times. For one time, for ninety times, so ninety degrees. Question number three: Y is inversely proportional to X. Given that Y is one by six, okay. First of all, it is inversely proportional, so Y equals k over X. When Y is one by six, at the time X is thirty. So thirty by six is equals to k. K is equals to five. Rewrite the equation. Y equals five by x. Find y when x is ten. X is one by two. Question four. Find f of one by two. So just plug in f of one by two in place of x. One by two divided by four. Is one by eight. F inverse. Let f of x is equal to y. Therefore, f inverse y is equals to x. So f of x equal to y. Y is equals to x by four. Make x the subject. Now replace these numbers. F inverse x is equals to four x. Question number five: The timetable for buses from A to E calling at B, C, D is given below. How many minutes does each journey from A to E take? So this is nine twenty, and this is eight twelve. So nine twenty minus eight twelve. One ten eight zero one. So it takes one hour and eight minutes. One hour is sixty minute. So sixty eight minutes. Sharon had an appointment at D at three thirty p.m. Find the latest time she can reach a bus from B. Okay, appointment at three thirty. So 
we see that it is 9.5, 9.35 and so on. So the closest time, it is 30, 30 minutes each, 9.35, then 5, then 35, then 5, then 35. So it has to be before 3.0, 3.30, so it would be 3.05. And to reach there at 3.05, From B, you need 9.35 and 9.03. So the difference is 32 minutes. So she needs to be 32 minutes earlier, whatever time she catches. So she catches 32 minutes before 3.05 because she can't reach at 3.30 other than that. So 305 if we take away 32 minutes, take out carry, this gives it 60 minutes, makes it 65, 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 3 is 3. So she catches a bus at 2.33 pm. From B to reach before 3.30 at D. Question number 6. The diagram shows a scale from 3.8 to 3.9. Divide into five equal parts. What is the value at the mark labeled P? So these are five, 0 0.1 difference of 0 0.1 by five. Each one of this makes it 0 0.02. So 0 0.02 and 0 0.04, 6, 8, 10. So this is 0 0.04, making it 3.8 plus 0 0.04 which is 3.84 B part the points X and Y lie on the line AB such that AX ratio XY ratio YB is 3 2 and 4 if AB is equals to 18 centimeter find XY AB complete is 18 so XY is actually 2 out of all this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 of 18 1 times 2 times 2 2 times is 4 so ab is xy is 4 centimeters question number 7 in the diagram abc is parallel to abc is parallel to defg bc is equals to be so whatever it would be, this is isosceles. Let us copy this here. And BFG is equals to 102. That's given. Find CBF. So CBF. I'm using these two. Angle between parallel lines are supplementary. So 180 minus 102. Left with 78 degrees. Find ABE. This is A. This is B. This is E. And these two are alternate angles sorry this is a b f a b e a b e we need this angle so 180 minus i'm subtracting these two to get this angle 180 minus 35 minus 35 you get 110 so 110 and this angle again becomes 70 degrees thirty students were asked how many days they ate pasta last year last week the results are given in the table find the mod highest frequency is nine so number of days is zero find the median the total thirty students were asked n plus one by two 30 plus 1 by 2 is 15.5th student. So these are 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So the median lies in between these two. So one of the values is 1. Other is 2. 3 by 2, 1.5. Median is 1.5. Question number 9. The area of a rectangle is given as 8 cm square correct to nearest centimeter square write down the lower bound for the area 8 minus 0 0.5 
is 7.5. The width of the rectangle is given as 2 cm correct to nearest cm. Calculate the lower bound for the length of rectangle. Okay, if you have this rectangle, this is plus minus 0 0.5 and this is unknown. So area is equals to length into breadth. Length is unknown. Length is equals to area divided by breadth. In order to get the lower length, we need area lower and breadth higher. We already have the lower bound for the area which is 7.5 and higher length would be 2.5 giving us an overall length of 3 centimeters. Question number 10. By making suitable approximations, calculate an average and estimate for this. Show clearly the approximation. So I'm approximating it to 40. 35 is closest to 36. 2980 could be written as 3000. So 40 times 6 by 3000. 6 1 times. 6 5 times 50. 0 goes with this. 4 by 50 is 2 by 25. Or if I change it into 4, this becomes 8 by 100, which is 0 0.08. Question number 11. The mean age of Ali, Ben, and Chris is 14 years, 3 months. Dai's age is 15 years and 3 months. Calculate the mean age of 4 people. So Ali, Ben and Chris divided by 3 is 14 years and 3 months. So what we can do is 3 into 14. If I multiply this 3 on the other side to get the average for these 3 total of these 3 A, B, C plus D divided by 4 to get average of all 4. Sum of ABC is 3 into 14 plus 3 months would be 3 by 12 making it 0 0.75. 0 0.25 and into 3 will make it 0 0.75. Plus this is 15 years already and 3 by 12 again is 0 0.25 divided by 4 so 3 into 14 is 42 adding these two makes it 115 by 4 so 43 and 15 58 by 4 58 by 4 4 into 14 is 56 and 2 by 4 is 0.5 so 14 5, 14 years and 6 months. Question 12. Find a raised to power 2x. So it could be written as this. a raised to power x is 5. 5 square is 25. a raised to power minus x is 1 over a raised to power x makes it 1 over 5. Question number 13. The distribution of length of time spent on the internet on a Monday by each member of a group of students is given in the table. The histogram represents some of this information from 1020. Okay. Find K. So class width and frequency density 10 to 30, 30 to 40. 40 to 50, 50 to 80 and frequency density is frequency divided by class width. First let us do this. Frequency density Frequency density is frequency divided by class width. So frequency density from 10 to 30 is 2. Class width is 20 and frequency is k. So k is equals to 40. Then it says complete the histogram. To complete the histogram, 
first two are already done the frequency density is frequency divided by class width frequency divided by class width so it is a height of 3 for from 40 to 50 height of 3 from 40 to 50 use a lead pencil only height of 1 from 50 to 80 Question number 14, find the two solutions of this. So we take LCM, that is 3x minus 3 is less than 3x by 4, cross multiply 4 into x minus 12, 3, 3 times is 9x. You subtract this, 9x minus 4x, so minus 12 is less than 5x. So minus 12 by 5 is less than x. I'm multiplying both with 2 to convert it into decimal. This is minus 2.4. So negative numbers and integers greater than 2.4 are minus 2 and minus 1. Question number 15. The diagram shows a figure made from 5 identical triangles. The figure has a rotational symmetry. Now write down the order of rotational symmetry. So it is clearly... 5. Each marked angle is 110. All of these marked are 110. Find the angles of one triangle. So 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. This is 70 degree. Now I'm going for this angle. These are 5 angles in complete circle. So 360 divided by 5 is 72 done with two angles third is 180 minus 70 minus 72 so 180 minus 142 is 38 so we have these three angles 38 70 and 72 question number 16 write the number 360 million in standard form 360 million is 10 raised to power 6 we give these two zeros here this is 3.6 into 10 raised to the power 8 p is given q is given expressing each answer in standard form p into q 5 into 10 raised to power 9 into 9 into 10 raised to power minus 16 9 5 times is 45 this is same powers add 10 raised to the power minus 7. Convert this into standard form. 4.5 into 10 raised to power minus 6. Square root of Q. 9 into 10 raised to power minus 16. Square root. Square root of 9 is 3. 16 by 2 is minus 8. Question number 17. Find 110 percent of 70 so 110 percent of 70 11 7 times is 77 when a new car when new a car was worth 15,000 after one year it was worth 12,000 calculate the percentage reduction so 15,000 minus 12,000 there was a reduction of 3,000 and 3000 by 15,000 times 100, 31 times, 35 times, 5 1 time, 520 times is 20%. So 20% reduction. Question number 18. An open tank, open rectangular tray has inside measurements. Length 11, 6, and 5. Calculate the total surface area of the four sides and the base of the inside of tray. So this side is height 5 into base 6 and these are 2 times. So into 2. And then the next one is this height at the back. Height is 5, base is 11. 5 into 11, these are again 2 times. And then the third one the bottom is 11 into 6 
5 2 times 10 6 times is 60 5 2 times 10 into 11 is 110 11 into 6 is 66 66 60 110 1 1 0 so 6 6 6 12 1 2 1 3 2 36 B part cubes are placed in the tray and a lead is placed on top each cube has a an edge of 2 cm find the maximum number of cubes that can be placed okay if you place the cubes there will be only two cubes on this side as 5 by 2 is 2.5 so two cubes half would be left one centimeter would be left and on this side 6 by 2 3 completely filling no wastage of space and on this side 11 centimeters by 2 is 5.5 so we can fill only <coughs> 2, 5 and 3. So 2 into 5 into 3, 10, 3 times is 30. You can only put 30 complete cubes inside the tray. <coughs> Question 19. Each time an archer fires an arrow, the probability that she hits the target is 0 0.7. She fires two arrows. Complete the tree diagram. If she hits a 0 0.7, if she misses it, 0 0.3. Find the probability that she hits the target twice. So this chain is selected 0 0.7 into 0 0.7, which is 0 0.49. She hits the target exactly once. So exactly once. In this second branch, it hits once. In this third branch, again, it hits once. So 0 0.7 into 0 0.3, 0 0.3 into 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.7. 73 times 21 by two decimals. 0 0.21, 0 0.21 is 0 0.4. Question number 20. The coordinates of P and M are minus 3, 10, 0, 4. Find the gradient of line PM. Gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Minus 6 by 3 is minus 2. Find the equation of line PM y equals mx plus c we already have the y-intercept at x0 y is 4 so we can just copy the values and the equation is y is equals to minus 2x plus 4 m is the midpoint of pq find the coordinates of q p q m p is given minus 3 10 m is given 0 4 q is unknown x y so if m is the midpoint we can rightly say that x1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to 0 so minus 3 plus x is equals to 0 x is equals to 3 on the other side y1 plus y2 by 2 is equals to 4 so 10 plus y is equals to 8, y is equals to 8 minus 10, y is equals to minus 2. Question number 21. <coughs> Express this as a single matrix. So multiplying 3 with each element. 3, 3 times is 9, 3 minus 15 minus 12 minus multiplying 2 inside 2 minus 6 0 4 9 minus 2 is 7 3 minus minus 6 is 9 
15 minus 0 minus 15 minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16 7 9 negative 15 negative 16 find the inverse of this given matrix so inverse is first of all one over determinant let me name it a into a joint of a so determinant is this into this minus this into this minus 12 minus minus 5 is minus 12 plus 5 minus 7 so we have the determinant 1 over determinant into a joint a joint is place change and sign change Question number 22, factorize. So we can take out 3a as common. We're left with 3a minus 2. So 3a into 3a minus 2. Factorize the second part is a square minus b square. So a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b factorize so there's nothing common in these two we can rearrange so 2c as common we're left with 3d plus x minus y common x plus 3d these two brackets are same 2c minus y times x plus 3d question number 23 the diagram shows the triangle ABC measure angle ABC. So place your protector and see what this angle is, which is between 97 to 99. On the diagram, construct the perpendicular bisector of AB. So perpendicular bisector of AB, place your needle at B, open your compass more than half and draw the arc on both sides. Then place the needle at A, draw the arc again join these two to get perpendicular bisector of AB mm, it should look like this this is better then it says on the diagram construct the locus of points that are 5 centimeters from C so 5 centimeters from C locus of a point is a circle open your compass for 5 centimeters and draw the circle around C. The points P and Q lie on the perpendicular bisector, okay? Then it says on the perpendicular bisector of AB and are 5 centimeters from C. Mark and label PQ and measure PQ. So this is the point which is 5 centimeters from C and on the perpendicular bisector, this is the other point. One of this is P. The other is Q. And whatever the length would be, measure this length and write this here. Question number 24. The diagram is a speed time graph of the part of train's journey. Calculate the speed when t is equals to 5. So there's one way you can do it with using gradient. Other way is it is already exactly the midpoint so it should be the midpoint of 30 and 12 also so 30 plus 12 by 2 is 42 by 2 21 calculate the acceleration it is accelerating in the second part acceleration is the gradient so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 18 by 20 9 by 10 0 
calculate the distance traveled from 40 to 60. So from 40 to 60 it is a trapezium which is 20 on this side, 30 on this side and 12 on this side. So 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides into height 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides are 12 and 30 height is the distance between parallel lines 2 1 times 2 10 times 12 plus 30 is 42 times 10 is 420 question number 25 the diagram in the diagram the equation of line AC is given I write down the three inequalities which define the region inside triangle ABC so staying inside the triangle ABC is above this given line so 7x plus 5y is greater than 35 this is y is equals to 5 and the region is below this line this is x is equals to 4 and the region is on left of this line the line y is equals to kx where k is an integer passes through the triangle abc find the greatest possible value of k so for it to have the greatest gradient it could be maximum steep and pass through a let's see what the gradient is when it passes through a at this point y is 5 so we use this equation to find the value of x so 7x plus 5y is equals to 35 y is given which is 5 so 5 into 5 25 7x is equals to 35 minus 25 7x is equals to 10 x is equals to 10 by 7 now we have this coordinate which is x is 10 by 7 and y is 5 to find the gradient that is change in y over change in x 5 by 10 by 7 7 5 times 35 by 10 gradient is 3.5 so it could have a maximum gradient of 3.5 but it needs to be an integer value so the maximum value less than 3.5 is 3 question number 26 this sequence of diagrams shows pattern made from some black beads and some white beads. Each diagram has row, two rows more than the previous diagram. Complete the diagram, complete the table for diagram 5. So if you observe this is square of 3, then square of 4, square of 5, square of 6, so square of 7 is 49. Then 7, 10, 13, 6. It is increasing by 3. This is 19. Keep observing the pattern clo closely. When you subtract these two, you get 2. 16 minus 10 is 6. 25 minus 13 is 12. Following the pattern, 49 minus 19 is 30. Now write down an expression in terms of n for the number of white beads. So number of white beads is 7, 10, 13. There is a constant difference. So term number is A plus N minus 1 into D. Where A is the first term. N is the term number. D is the common difference between them. 7 plus 3 N minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 3 N plus 4. Sequence for the total number of beads. So when we look at this total number as we discussed, this is 3, 4, 5, 6 squared. So when we will put 1 here to make it 3, it has to be 1 plus 2 whole square. Always check for it if it shows the right value. If I put 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So I'm getting correct values for two of them. This is going to be my answer. Find an expression in terms of n for the black beads. So we are done with the white beads. We are done with total. So black is total minus white. Total beads is n plus 2 squared minus the white beads is 3n plus 4. a square plus 
टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एन माइनस फोर सो प्लस फोर माइनस फोर गो ऑन फोर माइनस थ्री एन इज एन स्क्वायर प्लस एन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इन द डायग्राम ओ पी इज गिवन पी क्यू इज गिवन फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ओ पी प्लस पी क्यू सो मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दीज टू इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर रूट प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर रूट नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन फोर प्लस जीरो नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वायर रूट फोर फाइव प्लस टू इज सेवन टी इज द पॉइंट वेयर पी टी इज इक्वल टू के पी क्यू एक्सप्रेस ओ टी एज अ कॉलम वैक्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ के सो ओ टी इज ओ पी प्लस पी टी ओ टी इज ओ पी प्लस पी टी ओ पी इज माइनस थ्री फोर वेर पी टी इज के टाइम्स पी क्यू सो के टाइम्स पी क्यू पी क्यू इज टू जीरो सिंप्लीफाइंग विच गिवज अस माइनस थ्री प्लस टू के एंड फोर माइनस थ्री प्लस टू के एंड फोर एम इज द पॉइंट ऑन ओ टी एम इज द पॉइंट सच दैट ओ टी एम लाई ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड ओ एम इज ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्सटीन सो एम लाइज इन दिस लाइन एज ओ टी समवेयर सो वी कैन से दैट ओ एम इज H times O T, O M is already given, twenty four sixteen. This is H times O T, which is minus three two K four. So if we see, we have unknowns in the x part, and we can find H using the y parts. So sixteen equals four H. Sixteen by four is four. H is equals to four. Now we can use the x parts, which is twenty four is equals to four into three is. Minus twelve four into two is eight k. So twenty four plus twelve is equals to eight k. And uh, four five six thirty six is equals to eight k. K is equals to thirty six by eight. Four nine times four two times. So k is four point five. Thank you so much for watching take care do not forget to subscribe